Good morning. Um, thank you for coming. It's uh, as I was speaking with Dr. Kieran this morning. Uh, this is a little different than uh, what we're usually doing in Thailand because we've done this for almost three years now. So uh, the way this is going to happen is more catering to the needs of the Thai doctors that we know are interested in energy medicine. Um, I'd like to also thank uh, Professor for your introduction for, inter for energy medicine in Thai. Uh, it's excellent. Um, I'd also like to thank Dr. Paluit and uh, AMC Clinic. You've been an excellent supporter for this. And I would also like to thank Dr. Grissina. Um, uh, these are two people who are um, taking big steps in Thailand. And uh, over the next few hours and the next couple of days, uh, I hope everybody gets a chance to share uh, ideas of what we're all doing. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Kieran, who has um, worked with me for almost three years now. Um, he has introduced a technology that is a little different than normal radionics and a little different than normal energy medicine. I've worked with this type of technology for about 22 years in different countries. I choose to use this equipment because it has a unique ability to provide a window of opportunity to see what is going on with the patient and an even more interesting ability to assist the patient in achieving rebalancing on the physical, emotional, and an energetic level. And when we say energy, I'd like to say from a therapy standpoint or from a therapist practitioner standpoint, we sometimes see energy in terms of chi or aura, but sometimes we also see patients that have, let's say that we're in Thailand, we can speak about Buddhism and karma. That's also a different kind of energy too. And I believe that uh, sometimes spiritual healing can fall into this category. And it depends on which religion a person is, but in actuality it doesn't. It just depends on the belief system. So this equipment has some interesting ability to identify some very esoteric metaphysical problems that are underlying physical illness. And Kiran will be instrumental in being able to add some depth to that. Um, what I'd like to do is take a second here and just explain that whatever I'm saying, you don't have to worry about too much because we have some textbooks here that are proving the science of what we're talking about. Number one, this handbook um, is incredible science. Um, the first half of it is just discussing some ideas about basic natural medicine. But the second half of the book is talking about the specific science of radionics and the particular frequencies of healing science. Um, so we'll get a chance. This will be in the back of the room for anybody that wants to take a look. Um, another book that's been around for about 23 years, which has been my Bible, Vibrational Medicine by Dr. Gerber, another phenomenal textbook. And there are certain, uh, there's about two or three chapters in here that I like to outline and use when I teach doctors. Um, just unprecedented value. Um, another book by Lynn McTaggart, The Field, which also proves that um, the science of radionics does not necessarily mean that you have to be connected to any equipment. That informational medicine is nonlinear. And I'll wait to let Dr. Karen go more into detail with that. And the last but not least, my particular area of specialty is detoxification. And you'll also get a chance to look at this book, Detoxify or Die by Dr. Sherry Rogers. And again, it's the definitive case study and technology of what's going on in toxins in our environment and how we need to get rid of them and how I use core energetics to facilitate this. So um, I'd like to thank Kieran for assisting me in 
writing the detox module for core energetics. And also I'd like to thank Kiran for helping me write the stem cell module because we're also working with stem cells. And I'd like to thank Dr. Campon also because he's been very flexible and open-minded with uh, that subject. Thank you. And um, anyway, other than that, um, thank you very much. I hope we're going to learn a lot. And and just before I let you go here, I want to I ask you a few questions to <laughs> help the transition because I want to start this on a, on a much larger context than maybe people would expect. And uh, because you are American, I'm German, so I mean, I was living 15 years in America, but I still don't understand the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I'm, I'm thinking we have to learn and can learn much more now in Asia. And that's why, actually, I spend more time in Asia than I spend now in the United States. I have not been in the United States for one year, even though my company is there. And uh, that, that's a reason because I just don't, resonate much to United States values anymore. And uh, I think the same will happen on a world scale in the next few years, uh, and, uh, and including medicine, that, that America is no longer the role model for the world. And uh, you have been here in Thailand, and you are American originally. So how do you think? Uh, how things will change, how values will shift, how the way we do medicine maybe will change uh, because, of course, really obviously the, 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 new, the new key cultures will be probably in Asia. So well, what's, what's your, your idea, what you learn here that is much more valuable, a valuable way of seeing illness and healing then what do you think is the American way of, of doing healing? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, first of all, um, I was trained in natural medicine in Germany, so um, I, I could respect the fact that there's a huge difference between America and Germany. I didn't find any uh, value in, in naturopathic medicine in America 20 plus years ago. Um, I also trained in Chinese medicine in China. Uh, again, a great deal of culture there, a lot of history. Um, I was um, struggling in the United States to move forward with open-minded thinking with ideas about healing. Uh, the United States is caught up in a machine of understanding that it's about drugs and surgery. Uh, it's about waiting until the patient is sick and then treating the illness. There's no preventative measures that teach people how to take better care of themselves um, to avoid the illness, really, to prevent the illness. Cancer is not an, an illness that you wait until a person has fourth stage degeneration. You actually can prevent it quite simply and quite easily. So I think um, that it's um, uh, coming to a place like Thailand where we have such open-minded doctors like Dr. Kampon and, and Dr. Grissina and, and so many other people um, that people are open, easy to work with, um, flexible, um, when a new idea comes along, they're not completely resistant because it, even though it goes against Western pharmaceutical medicine and surgery, people here are a little bit easier to talk to about such things. So I believe that um, being able to offer things like clinical detoxification here and knowing other doctors that are open to such ideas, it's, it's moved rather quickly. Um, or at least I can say by comparison to the United States, it's moved at all, rather than places like America, which is my country, um, even though I haven't been there in over 12 years because it's so much easier to offer what I would feel is more appropriate therapies, non-toxic 
therapies, therapies that don't actually cause problems for the patient, therapies that are actually going to benefit the immune system, not slow the immune system down. And so I think that uh, uh, many conversations that Dr. Campone and I have had in the past are about how patients in places like America and England and Australia are coming to places like Thailand for programs that Dr. Campone and I offer because first of all, number one, they're at least offered without as much restriction or much restriction. Number two, the cost in terms of the difference between what you can get in, let's say, Switzerland, Germany, or Mexico with these types of therapies is quite different than what we can offer the cost here in Thailand. So I think that there's a lot of benefit in terms of um, the global market and just uh, politics and what doctors think and what they might agree with or don't agree with. So I think that um, uh, I'm, I'm quite happy to be here in Asia and to realize that countries like Thailand are moving forward and um, uh, able to offer such things. So, and it's uh, only going to, I think, get better, really, because um, the ability that uh, um, seminars like this are even available. You know, I mean, the mere fact that we're sitting here talking with a group of Thai medical doctors, the fact that I am able to uh, give some information, Dr. Kieran's here to give some information, we're able to see new ideas. This is a big step. I, I spoke to Kieran um, a couple of days ago by email, letting him know that this is really quite a landmark situation for us here with Core Energetics in Thailand because we're able to cater to Thai medical doctors that are interested to move forward in alternative therapies that are a little bit different than anything that's out there. So um, I just am glad to be part of the movement. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure. So, okay. Um, anyway, if you're ready. Thank you. Thank you.